Does that mean I'd be guilty of manslaughter? Good morning, Erin. It's Saturday. I had to do big girl things yesterday and I just completely forgot to do my video. So I thought I would just make up a list of all the books that I read as a kid. 20 children's books that changed my life. Okay, go. Where the Wild Things Are. This book is really close to my heart. It's about Max who goes off into this wonderful world that he made up on his own and he becomes king of the wild things. It seems like a good deal to me. Oh, The Places You'll Go by Dr. Seuss is probably the greatest children's book that you will read. It's so inspiring. It has such a great message. I know every kid likes to get it for graduation gift, but it does hold a certain meaning. Tale of Peter Rabbit, but then again, it's all about rabbits, so who doesn't love it? The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Now that is a book that deserves every accolade that I got. Cat in the Hat, because who doesn't like rhymes? Curious George, there's a m dude with a yellow suit, and it's a monkey. Paper Bag Princess, I resonate with the Paper Bag Princess. She knows what she wants, she's a very headstrong princess, and she does not put up with petty ass boys. Mr. Popper's Penguins, who wouldn't want to be the caretaker of a million birds that can't fly and look like they're wearing suits? The Velveteen Rabbit. I used to hate that book, but I read it again recently and I realized that it's actually pretty sweet because you always like to hold on to your tattered old toys. Where the Sidewalk Ends. Now I know it's not like an actual book, but I really love all the little poems because it's just, it can be like really gruesome and really weird and that's why I like them so much. Winnie the Pooh, although I don't like what they're doing with it in Disney now. Adventures of Alice in Wonderland. You get to see a satirical Victorian take on English society through the eyes of a little girl. Bridge to Terabithia, and I am not even going to begin to explain why this book changed my life. <laughs> Chronicles of Narnia was probably something that I picked up before I started reading Harry Potter, and I got into it a lot easier than I got into Harry Potter, although I'm not entirely sure I like all the religious allegories. With Harry Potter in mind, Harry Potter. I'm still waiting for my letter from Hogwarts. Holes. Now that is a book that everybody should read. It is a staple of children's literature. A series of unfortunate events, and I'm talking about all the books. Carnivorous Carnival was my favorite one. Tuck Everlasting. Now that is probably the greatest children's love story I have ever read. And another book that's also really good is The Stinky Cheese Man and Other Fairly Stupid Tales, but it is an amazing take on traditional fairy tales and nursery rhymes. Like, just as an example, the other frog prince, the princess and the bowling ball, the boy who cried, cow patty. Absolutely hilarious, 100% would recommend. And last, but certainly not least, The Hobbit. It is an epic novel, Tolkien's finest. It kind of puts into perspective that I should really start reading more adult novels again because I can't keep on reading children's books and getting away with it. Anyways, Erin, I look forward with my breath held for what you have in store for me for a punishment. That and I also look forward to your video this week. Peace out. I bid you adieu 